Hello everyone, uh, I'm Quentin. So today I'm going to show you a bit of a view of what uh, Gluten is. It's a, uh, let me just Google it. It's a VPN container. Let's call it it's Gluten here. You can access it on GitHub. There's a lot of documentation here. Uh, so in a short sentence, it is a lightweight Swiss knife-like VPN client to channel to private internet access, Mulvat, Windscribe, Surfshark, CyberGhost, Viper VPN, NordVPN, and PureVPN VPN servers. It uses Go, the Go programming language, to glue all the moving paths together to make it work like clockwork. And for now, it only supports OpenVPN to connect to these servers. There's the use of IP table to set up some custom firewall to block everything that is non-VPN related to avoid any leaks. Uh, it uses DNS of a TLS with Unbound uh, to protect uh, your DNS queries from leaking or from, for your VPN provider to see what DNS requests you make. There's a built-in uh, shadow socks I recently rewrote in Go from scratch uh, that you can use to connect, for example, uh, your phone or your computer devices on your network to the container, um, which is shadow socks uses a SOXFlice proxy. And there's also a tiny proxy, which is just a HTTP proxy um, that you can use, for example, with TVs or even your computers as well. Um, on a side note, ShadowSox is a bit better because you can turn on both TCP and UDP, while tiny proxy is only TCP uh, because it's over HTTP. Um, there are some more providers like ExpressVPN and uh, another one that I'm working on to add. So if you want to have more VPN providers, feel free to ask me or create an issue. You can go to the GitHub page and you can create an issue here and I will be prompt to uh, work on it. Uh, it will take only like two to five days for me to uh, get your VPN provider up and ready. Um, this is a fun drawing. This is a, a well from Docker. This is the Docker well going into a tunnel and coming out in the other tunnel. I made that by myself uh, for fun, pretty much. And this tunnel is obviously a VPN tunnel, so that was the idea. Okay, so the Docker image is really small. It's even less than that now. Uh, it's like 50 megabytes, and it is based on the latest Alpine 3.12. Uh, it's uh, it's using a Go uh, binary, uh, which is quite complex, but quite uh, well tested and um, of course it supports all the VPN providers I mentioned. Um, this repeats a lot of what I just said, but I will go through them again. Uh, you can also like block some default uh, IP addresses and host names from being resolved. Uh, there's a pre-built list uh, that gets updated every 24 hours of malicious ads and surveillance hostname and IP addresses that you can easily block with environment variables. Uh, you can choose if you want to tune that for UDP or TCP. Uh, as I mentioned before, there's a firewall kill switch. There's the shadow socks, uh, sock size pro proxy, the tiny proxy, HTTP proxy. Um, there's a lot, quite a bit of documentation on how to connect other containers to it or how to connect LAN devices to it. Um, an extra goodie is that it works on pretty much uh, all the architectures you would have, which is uh, AMD64 is a common CPU thing for Intel and AMD. Uh, i686 as well, it works on older processors as well that only supports 32 bits. That's useful in some like NAS devices sometimes. And it supports all the ARM um, architectures, which is useful for, for example for Raspberry Pis or like some NAS devices. So you can run this on pretty much everything you need. Uh, if you need some special CPU architecture, just create an issue again, I will take care of it. But this uh, tends to be like the CPU architectures that are going to work uh, quite well and build quite well. Some niche ones like uh, S390X are a bit uh, hard to get by, so I avoided them for now. Uh, you can do port forwarding for private internet access for now and Viper VPN. Um, on, the, on the VPN server side, that's port forwarding on the VPN server side. Um, I'm planning to add uh, a few ones, especially Mulvad, uh, in the coming days. Uh, you can, of course, do like uh, a bunch of things with DNS over TLS. You can choose which providers you want. It can do a uh, split horizon DNS, mean, which means you balance all the DNS requests you make for the tunnel to different providers like Cloudflare, Google, and a bunch of other like Quad9. Um, so that's nice because they don't have 
all your DNS, not one provider will have all your DNS queries. You can like split it amongst a few providers. And um, it's quite security oriented as well. Um, all the sub programs like, I don't know, Tiny Proxy, Shadow Socks, etc. and OpenVPN, they run without root. Uh, the main process has to run with root because it sets up some networking things that you, you need root to set up, especially for OpenVPN. Um, and you have all the streams matched together as well in the logs. So that's pretty sweet and different colors as well, which is uh, even fancier. And then sums it up pretty much. Um, as you can see, there's, there are detailed instructions on how to set it up. Uh, you can set it up with just Docker, with Docker Compose as well. This is the comp Compose example file. Um, you can do it with Kubernetes and all. I didn't uh, add a Kubernetes, uh, uh, whatever chat, because uh, it's a bit niche, not many users use that uh, with Kubernetes. Um, there's a ton of environment variables for you to change anything. Um, make sure to read the instructions here. For example, if you want to use an HTTP proxy or the shadow socks, uh, you need to set, for example, the extra subnets to your uh, LAN. So there's quite a bit of things that you may want to read. There's an easy, easy one-liner to just test the container is actually working. And finally, the environment variable, there's environment variable for the VPN. For each VPN provider, there's, there are different environment variables. Um, the, okay, so all of them, the, there are environment variables for the DNS of a TLS, uh, for the firewall as well. I won't go through all of them. You can go through them if you feel like it. These are all optional. They have uh, sensible defaults, but if you want to fiddle with them, feel free to do that. Uh, Shadow Sox, Tiny Proxy for the system. Uh, you can set the time zone, your ID, etc. Uh, and a few other little things. There's a section on how to connect containers to it, which is which should be quite useful uh, for Docker Compose, for just Docker run commands, uh, with different Docker Compose uh, commands as well. Uh, for the Tiny Proxy, for Shadow, for Shadow Sox. And also that's quite useful to access ports of connect of containers connected to it. So if you want to access a web UI, uh, which is connected to the VPN container Gluten, uh, you want to read that. Um, port forwarding, I already say that. There's a control server that is being under development. It is already working. You can see the wiki page. You can do a bunch of HTTP GET requests to modify the state of Gluten. Uh, and finally, if you want to contribute or develop uh, and help me out in the development effort for this container, there's a bunch of resources you can read and uh, it's quite easy to uh, get started. The license is of course MIT license. I don't want to be annoying. Uh, if you want to sponsor me, there's like a bunch of ways. You can sponsor me for GitHub. You can sponsor me, uh, uh, give me a donation on PayPal. You can sign up to Winscribe with my uh, sign up uh, link. Um, there's also a Kanban board to know a bit like what's going on. Uh, there's things in progress, things to do. If you want to pick one thing, feel free to pick it. Uh, and of course, thanks to the many supporters, uh, finance, financial supporters and contributors uh, listed here. And um, that's pretty much it. I hope you enjoyed it. On the next video, I will show you how to run a simple uh, VPN container uh, with Gluten and how to connect another container to it. That will be the next one. It will be a few minutes. It won't, won't be long. And you will need a bit of knowledge on how to use a terminal, but it should be quite straightforward. All right, enjoy. Thanks for watching.